It's been shown repeatedly that patient-centered healthcare teams produce better outcomes for patients than the solo healthcare practitioner who just calls in a consult periodically. And when we started the College of Pharmacy, we subscribed to that. Many of the accrediting bodies for healthcare practitioner education are starting to require interprofessional education, and we've been doing it at Rosalind Franklin for about 12 years now. A medical student learns about, from, and with the pharmacy student, for example, and vice versa. They learn each other's roles in the team and each other's jargon, and that allows them to have interactions that come to a higher level. And so interprofessionalism is part of the fabric here at the university. We in the College of Pharmacy have a relatively small class size. As a result, we have individualized attention. Our faculty get to know the students very well and understand their motivations, their goals, to help students find the professional area that they really want to work in as they come into the college and as they progress through the program. An example of that is that the faculty generally do not have office hours. So if a student wants to talk to a faculty member, they just have to come to the office and the faculty member will take time to talk to them. We're committed to helping students move through the program. Pharmacy is changing as a career. It's not just dispensing medications any longer, but it's being involved in clinical experiences and taking care of patients in a clinical way. It's been demonstrated repeatedly that outcomes improve for patients when a pharmacist is part of the team. The pharmacist is the only professional trained in drug actions and in drug-drug interactions. And so as a member of the team, they're critical. And the beneficiary of that, of course, is the patient. My fundamental hope for the College of Pharmacy is to continue to offer and expand opportunities for students to become the best pharmacist they can be and provide the educational framework for them to excel. If we do that, our graduates will improve the health of their communities and the nation, and we will have done our job.